Hi guys, it's Jodie and welcome to a new video. So today I'm going to be unboxing April's Fairy Loot Box and I'm so freaking excited because this is my first video slash unboxing as a rep for Fairy Loot. So yes, I am going to be a rep for Fairy Loot for the next couple of months, which is really exciting because as you guys know, I've been subscribed to Fairy Loot since 2017. So I'm a very, very big fan of them. Absolutely adore them. I've been getting these boxes for a long time. So it's really, really nice to work with them. So thank you so much to Fairy Loot for sending me a box to unbox on my channel this month. Um, but yes, let's get straight into the video. So let's get the spoiler card out first and see what we have in here. I'm so excited. So this is this month's spoiler card, which is absolutely gorgeous. How nice is this? I love these. I've got so many of them stuck on my wall because they're just so pretty. Um, so this month's theme is bittersweet. And the first item is some kind of bag, I think. What is this? Is this a bag or... Okay, I don't actually know what this is. Let's see. I think it might be one of those things you can put books in. Just like <laughs> sort of out. Okay, this is kind of cool. What is it though? So this is a Constellation canvas basket and it's inspired by Addie LaRue, which... I love Addy LaRue so much. So this is a little storage basket to put like books in or just like random bits and pieces. And it has this gorgeous quote on it here. And it says here, what is a person if not the marks they leave behind? Which is a stunning quote. And this has the kind of constellations all over it. It's like black and white, very my aesthetic very in love with this absolutely love it and it's got this really sturdy like thing at the top with these little handles on the sides as well so yeah absolutely love this i love storage items like this as well so i will definitely make use of this and this is really really cute as well like i absolutely love this okay so next we have a pin and this is a dreamer pin which is inspired by strange dreamer by lani taylor which i haven't read but i definitely do want to read with the packaging that it came in which is really really pretty Frankie's attacking the box. Can you maybe not do that, Frank? Cats. So this is the pin here. This is so, so pretty. Let's all ignore my disgusting nails, by the way. But this pin, like, look at this pin. How beautiful. I love the colours. Like, I'm very into pastel colours at the moment. My nails, even though they're disgusting and chipped, actually match this. So nice. Um, but yeah, this is so pretty and I will definitely use this. I absolutely love it. And this is a moth as well, which is really cute. So I will pop that on a bag or like a pin board or something. Um, you are not supposed to be in this video. So can you maybe go down there? Yeah, I love that. Okay, so next we have some fairy lights. And these are heart-shaped fairy lights. So they come in this little box like this, which is really, really cute. I always love Fairy Loot's packaging because it always has like nice designs on. So let's get these open. Oh, I've ripped the box. How the hell do you open these? Here we have them. So they're just these cute little heart lights. And I have some that have moons on from Fairy Loot somewhere. I think they were behind me on like the window but frankie has ripped them down which is nice but i absolutely love them so these are really cute and they're like a kind of bubbly effect on them and you just can't have too many fairy lights so i'm very happy with these super cute so next we have a night circus themed tray and i do always use these i use these to put like biscuits on when i have like tea and biscuits so like snacks and things or sometimes i literally do just use it as a plate because i'm lazy um but you can use these maybe to put like jewelry on and things as well and just like maybe a candle um but i really really love this this is a night circus themed one if i didn't already say that and it says and there are really never endings happy or otherwise so yeah that's really really cute really really like that and then i think we have two books in here this month which is really cool so we have an extra book which is an arrow to the moon written by emily xr pan and it's, it's a modern retelling of romeo and juliet infused with chinese mythology your fairy loot edition features an exclusive cover sprayed edges and digital author signature oh my god i love the sound of this romeo and juliet retelling chinese mythology yes please sign me up i am excited for this this is so pretty too so this is what it looks like here so here's the exclusive fairy loot cover and the spine and then it has these gorgeous sprayed edges and then it did say that it was signed as well which is amazing i love it when fairy loot includes a second book 
it's just so cool so yeah very very excited about this i will show the back here if you guys want to pause and read it but i will link this book down below for you guys to read the synopsis there but very very excited about this i love the sound of this and this is just absolutely gorgeous i love these colors and the gold foiling as well okay so before we get to the book let's just get the tarot cards out so i love these tarot cards i still need to find a binder that's big enough to fit these in so if anyone knows where i can get one please do let me know in the comments but the tarot cards of the month are inspired by daughter of the moon goddess which was one of fairly's previous books and these are so freaking gorgeous look at these wow and then look at the back with the moon on obsessed like just obsessed these are so pretty i love these tarot cards i'm pretty sure i do own every single one because i haven't missed a box as far as i know unless i've lost any but i really do love them and i really kind of want to do like a video showing all of them so if anyone is interested in that and seeing my entire fairy loot tarot card collection let me know i might pop one on here or maybe on patreon or something um because yeah they're really pretty and i would love to show them all off <laughs> okay so we finally have the book which comes in a little very loot baggy as always freaking love these i use these for like lunch and stuff all the time so i have no idea what the book could be to be honest but i'm excited so we have our fairy scoop and then we have an art card which matches the book this is usually a character from the book and then we have our letter from the author on the back so we have blood screen i think it's how you pronounce it and this is by deborah fillet and this cover is so gorgeous like wow look at this cover how gorgeous is that and the spine as well and then we have our blue spray edges oh my god i just love the aesthetic like all these colors look so nice together but this is so pretty let's see if there's art under the dust jacket oh my gosh okay so here's the character art on the dust jacket here which i always love that fairly do this but then on the actual book underneath is this here which is the same as the dust jacket printed on to the actual book which is so pretty so i love that and then this is of course signed as well which is amazing look at these end pages as well like they're so pretty so yeah i'll read these synopsis to you guys so it says i am a descendant of shango the god of heat and fire i am a living inferno i'm a dead girl walking 15 year old sloan can incinerate an enemy at will she is a scoin a descendant of the ancient orisha gods but under the brutal rule of the lucius i think is how you say it, or maybe it's lucas i don't think it's lucas but i think it's lucius lucis maybe her identity means her death her mother knew as much she disappeared trying to hide sloan's truth sloan too has hidden her abilities but on her 15th birthday she is conscripted into the lucis army once taken she must not only conceal her power but overcome the bloody challenges of lucis training i'm definitely saying that word wrong if she can infiltrate the Lucis, she could destroy her enemies, the people who think of her as less than human, the overlords responsible for her mother's disappearance. Sloane rises through the ranks and gains strength, but in doing so risks something greater, losing herself entirely and becoming the very monster she abhors. So, yeah, this sounds so, so good. Like, look at this on the back as well here. Like, this sounds amazing. It sounds like it's going to be action packed. It just sounds like it's going to be very tense. So excited. And I love this cover as well. It's just so pretty. So, yes, that is this month's Fairly Box. Absolutely love everything in here. I think my favorite item is probably going to be the basket thing the Adi LaRue one because I just love Adi LaRue so much um but yeah an amazing box from Fairy Loot as always I will have both books linked in the description box along with a link to the waiting list to subscribe to Fairy Loot I do know they recently did a um adult only subscription as well which unfortunately sold out so fast I could not manage to get that because I totally forgot about it and it was sold out by the time I went to join so I think I'm still on the wait list for the adult only option which I really hope that I can get someday but yes they do have that option as well so yeah, there will be a link to Fairy Loot's website in the description box. And thank you so much to Fairy Loot again for gifting me this month's box. Just love it. So happy. Um, so yes, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Let me know in the comments what your favourite item was in this box. If you have read either of the books I mentioned or if you're planning to, please let me know down below. If you made it to the end of this video, leave a little fairy emoji in the comments. And don't forget to give this a like and subscribe if you are new here. If you are looking for any extra content from me, I do have a Patreon and that's where I upload extra reading vlogs. We do a monthly buddy read, we do a monthly readathon, we have a Discord and there's lots of other things going 
going on over there so if you're interested in any of that you can head to the link in my description box but yes thank you guys so much for watching i hope you're all safe and well i hope you're reading lots of good books and i'll see you in the next video bye mm -hmm.